Hi everyone and welcome back. Are you ready to do some science with me? Great! We're going to do the blooming flower experiment. So for this experiment you're going to need a piece of paper and something to draw with. I'm going to use my smelly markers which is fun because flowers have a smell and now my paper flower have a smell. So mom and dad are going to help you draw a flower on your paper. I'm going to do a loopy circle petal shaped flower like this round and round and round and round just like that and then you can add some decorations to your flower so i'll put a circle in the middle some dotty dotty seeds inside yeah. that circle yeah. Decorate my petals. Oh, there's my flower. Now you're going to have mom and dad cut it out for you. I already have one cut out right here. And then the next thing you want to do is fold each of the petals into the middle. Now you want to do this very carefully and not push too hard down on the folds. Otherwise, I read that it might not work. Once your flower is folded, we're going to need some water to test out our flowers to see if they will blossom. Blossoming means that the flowers will open. Alright, so I'll meet you outside so we can use our water. All right, we're outside at Nora's water table and we're gonna put our flowers that we made into the water and we're gonna watch to see if they open up or bloom. You ready? All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, look, look, look. That one's going, going really slow though. I might've folded that one a little too much. Wow, look at the flowers, they're opening. Yeah. They're blooming. That's pretty cool. I thought it would have opened up a little faster, but probably I folded them a little too tight. Um, this flower, I actually used regular like notebook paper, and you can see that it didn't open up as well as the printer paper. I also used markers for this experiment, and if you look at this flower, the ink from the marker is starting to run. I have a challenge for all my friends at home. I would like to know how this experiment would work with crayons, because a crayon is different than a marker. Crayons are made from wax, and wax and water do not really mix well together. So I want to know if drawing a flower with a crayon will work differently than a flower with a marker. So if you try this experiment at home, make a video and post it on balloons so we can all learn together. Alright, see you later for story time. Bye!